Yehova Elohenu Svaot. Kadosh, 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 please lead me with the Ruach HaKodesh, that I may speak your written words with boldness to those who listen. I ask all these things in Yeshua HaMashiach's name. Amen. We'll start with the Shema. Listen and obey. Children of Yehovah, pay careful attention and respond. Yehovah is our power and authority. Yehovah works in unity with himself. And you shall act upon your love to Yehovah with your power and authority, with your thoughts and mind, with your entire body, and with all the muchness that you have. Yod, hey, vav, hey. Hand, behold, nail, behold. Deuteronomy chapter 17. You are not to sacrifice to Yehovah your God a cow or sheep that has a defect or anything wrong with it. That would be an abomination to Yehovah your God. If there is found among you within any of your gates in any city that Yehovah your God gives you a man or woman who does what Yehovah your God sees as wicked, transgressing his covenant by going and serving other gods and worshiping them, the sun, the moon, or anything in the sky, something I have forbidden, and it is told to you, or you hear about it, then you are to investigate the matter diligently. If it is true, if it is confirmed that such detestable things are being done in Israel, then you are to bring the man or woman who has done this wicked thing to your city gates and stone that man or woman to death. The death sentence is to be carried out only. If there was a testimony from two or three witnesses, he may not be sentenced to death on the testimony of only one witness. The witnesses are to be the first to stone him to death. Afterwards, all the people are to stone him. Thus, you will put an end to this wickedness among you. If a case comes before you at your city gate, which is too difficult for you to judge concerning bloodshed, civil suit, personal injury, or any other controversial issue, you are to get up, go to the place which you have all your God will choose, and appear before the Kohenim, who are the Levim, and the judge in office at the time. Seek their opinion, and they will render a verdict for you. You will then act accordingly to what they have told you there in that place which you have all will choose. You are to take care to act accordingly to all their instructions, in accordance with the Torah they teach you. They are to carry out the judgment they render, not turning aside to the right or to the left from the verdict they declare to you. Anyone presumptuous enough not to pay attention to the Kohen appointed there to serve you have all your God or to the judge, that person must die. Thus you will exterminate such wickedness from Israel. All the people will hear about it and be afraid to continue acting presumptuously. When you have entered the land you have all your God is giving you, have taken possession of it and are living there, you may say, I want to have a king over me like all the other nations around me. In that event, you must appoint a king. You must appoint as king the one whom Yehovah, your God, will choose. He must be one of your kinsmen. This king you appoint over you, you are forbidden to appoint a foreigner over you who is not your kinsman. However, he is not to acquire many horses for himself or have the people return to Egypt to obtain more horses inasmuch as as you have all told you never to go back that way again. Likewise, he is not to acquire many wives for himself, so that his heart will turn away, and he is not to excess he is not to acquire excessive quantity of silver and gold. When he has come to occupy the throne of his kingdom, he is to write a copy of this Torah for himself in a scroll from the one the Kohenim and the Levim use. It is to remain with him, and he has to read it every day, as long as he lives, so that he will learn to fear Yehovah his God, and keep all the words of this Torah and these laws, and obey them, so that he will not think he is better than his kinsmen, and so that he will not turn aside either to the right or to the left from the mitzvah. In this way, he will prolong his own reign in that of the children of Israel. How can we learn to love our Creator after reading this exciting 17th chapter 
of Deuteronomy. We can do what is good in the sight of Jehovah according to his Torah, obey his covenant, serve Jehovah only and with all of your heart, being, bring all of your problems to Jehovah and he will judge. Live according to the instructions set found in the written words of Jehovah called Torah. Exterminate all wicked thoughts and actions from your life. Trust that Yeshua is King of Kings. Write a copy of Torah for yourself and keep it with you and read it every day as long as you live so that you will learn to fear Yehovah and keep all the words of His Torah and these laws and obey them. Be humble. Stay on the path of obedience. How can we love others as Yeshua loves us? We can encourage all of the children of Yehovah to read his words daily for the goal of obedience while remaining humble. Bear one another's burdens. We can grow in the fear of Yehovah by reading his words daily and obeying his written commands while staying humble. Produce spiritual fruit, love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, humility, and self-control. We'll end with the Arianic blessing using the name. Yehovah will kneel before you presenting gifts, and he will guard you with the hedge of protection. Yehovah will illuminate the wholeness of his being towards your bringing order, and he will provide you with love, sustenance, and friendship. Yehovah will lift up the wholeness of his being and look upon you, and will set in place all you need to be whole and complete. 